स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट पी सी बायोलॉजी आनियल एग्जाम इज वेरी नियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम ईच एंड एवरी चैप्टर ऑफ फर्स्ट पी सी बायोलॉजी एंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द पी डी एफ लिंक ऑफ दिस नोट्स सो लेट एस डिस्कस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फॉर द कमिंग आनियल एग्जाम सो फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट चैप्टर द लिविंग वर्ल्ड यू जस्ट रिमेंबर द डिफाइनिंग एंड नॉन डिफाइनिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द लाइफ the definition of metabolism and taxonomy and the full form of icbn and iczn now for five marks you remember about binomial nomenclature who proposed it and the guidelines to do the nomenclature it is for five marks then for taxonomic hierarchy you remember this order from kingdom to genus second chapter biological classification remember carolus linnaeus two kingdom classification and r h vitaker five kingdom classification and the main criteria to classify this organism is very important then in kingdom monera you just remember the shape of the classification of the bacteria based on the shape and the definition of archaea bacteria halophiles and thermoacidophiles then remember about methanogen bacteria and also about the cyanobacteria blue green algae one of the important diagram here is nostoc and remember the function of heterocyst then remember the definition and uh, importance of mycoplasma and in kingdom protista remember about that uh, chrysophytes are going to form diatomaceous earth and its uses then dinoflagellates are going to form red tides that you remember then you remember protozoa definition and the classification of protozoa which is very very important for five marks then in kingdom fungi remember about the definition of hyphae plasmogamy karyogamy then about the classes of fungi especially asco ascomycetes sac fungi dipteromycetes fungi imperfect you remember then definition of viruses and about the diagram of bacteriophage and tobacco mouseiac virus is also very important then the definition of viroids and lichens especially phycobion mycobion and the importance of lichens then from third chapter plant kingdom you remember the economic importance of algae uh, very important and the for five marks the characteristic features of bryophytes why they are called as amphibians of plant kingdom remember about the gemma cups then you remember about five points of pteridophytes they are also called as cryptogams and remember the classification of four classes of pteridophytes with example then for five marks remember the characteristics of gymnosperms and its classification remember about mycorrhiza and corolloid roots in gymnosperm then in fourth chapter animal kingdom just remember the points of phylum porifera phylum nidaria or coelenterata in see nidaria and coelenterata remember the two types of body polyp and medusa which is very very important then in uh, phylum tenophora remember about uh, uh, bioluminescence definition which is a property to emit the life and the properties of uh, characteristics of platyhelminthes flat worms and remember about here fla flame cells in ascalminthes also very very important in phylum uh, phylum annelida remember the characteristic features and also about the nephridia then phylum arthropoda is the largest phylum of uh, animal kingdom remember the characteristic features of this phylum and in phylum mollusca remember the characteristic features also for one mark remember about radula which is a rasping organ then uh, remember the difference between chordates and non chordates important to the exam chondrichites and osteichites very very important and remember about the characteristic features of aves which are helpful to flight these are the important topics then in morphology of flowering plants remember about the types of roots uh, regions of the dif different regions of the root modification of the root very very important venation and its types important to the exam follow phylotaxy and its types are very very important then inflorescence and its types then about uh, the actinomorphic and zygomorphic and the types of flower based on the position of ovary very very important then about uh, the terms like gamo gamosepalus polysepalus uh, gamopetalus and polypetalus then about estivation five marks very very important definition in the types of estivation then remember these are the terms for one mark like staminode epipetalus polyandrous mon monoadelphus diadelphus and polyadelphus apocarpus and syncarpus and another five marks important topic here is placentation and its types with example is very very important to the exam 
देन रिमेंबर अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्रूट सीड्स एंड पार्थिनोकार्पिक फ्रूट फ्रॉम द चैप्टर सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ रिमेंबर अबाउट सेल थियरी मीसोजोम अबाउट पॉलीजोम्स और पॉलीरेबोजोम्स इंक्लूजन बॉडीज डायग्राम ऑफ द प्लांट सेल डायग्राम ऑफ द एनिमल सेल आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फाइव मार्क्स एंड ऑल्सो द डायग्राम ऑफ फ्लूड मोजियाक मॉडल वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू द एग्जाम देन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लांट सेल एंड एनिमल सेल ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू द एग्जाम then uh, remember about uh, the uh, role of organelles like endoplasmic reticulum uh, golgi apparatus lysosome vacuoles mitochondria diagram and explanation then plastid especially chloroplast diagram then remember the classification of leucoplast and its function very important to the exam structure of uh, rn uh, structure of nucleus and the classification of chromosomes based on the position of centromere these are all the very very important topics from the chapter biomolecules remember about uh, the three types of bond present in the biomolecules like peptide bond phosphodiester bond and glycosidic bond uh, remember about starch and glycogen types of amino acid essential and non essential remember collagen is the most abundant protein in the animal kingdom and animal world and rubisco in the whole biosphere then remember about the uh, structure of protein in four levels uh, remember about definition of enzyme in its classification very important for five marks then remember about primary metabolites and secondary metabolites with example and another five marks important question is factors affecting enzyme activity so next in uh, cell cycle and cell division chapter remember uh, the interface and m phase definition of karyokinesis and cytokinesis Uh, and the interface has G1, S, and G2 phase. Important about quiescent stage, G0 stage. Uh, then the characteristics of prophase, metaphase, uh, anaphase, telophase, which are very very important. Anyone they are going to ask for three marks. For two marks, remember the significance of mitosis. Then for one one mark, you just remember the characteristics of leptotin, zygotin, then uh, pachytin, uh, then uh, crossing over. then diplotin diacritis these characteristics you remember for one mark they are going to ask then another important topic for one mark is significance of meiosis and the difference between mitosis and meiosis is also very very important sometimes they are going to ask for five marks the differences next in photosynthesis in higher in plants higher plants remember kelvin cycle c3 cycle which is very very important the three steps are very very important then remember the cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation very important to the exam uh, differences also they may ask about kranz anatomy also very important then uh, blackman's law of limiting factor that is also very very important then glycolysis in respiration in plants glycolysis or emp pathway is also very very important 10 step process or they are going to ask krebs cycle or tca cycle or they may ask they may also also ask aerobic and anaerobic respiration differences and respiratory quotient also very very important in plant growth and hormone for three marks remember differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation definition roles of the growth hormones like gibberellin cytokinin uh, ethylene abscisic acid or auxin they are going to very very uh, they are going to ask very very important to the exam then in breathing and exchange of gases remember the diagram of human respiratory system that is lungs then about the transport of respiratory gases very very important to the exam and the respiratory disorders like asthma emphysema and occupational respiratory disorder and remember the tidal volume definition also or they may ask for five marks mechanism of breathing it in, it includes inspiration and expiration from the chapter body fluid and circulation heart diagram is very very important for five marks and they may ask you about the characteristics of erythrocytes leukocytes and platelets which is also very very important mechanism of blood clotting is also important to the exam then they may ask about san uh, which is a pacemaker and ecg graph and uh, explanation of ecg also very important and double circulation includes systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation is also one of the five marks question then uh, coronary artery disease hypertension also very important to the exam now uh, from the chapters like uh, neural control and coordination uh, classification of nervous system neuron uh, diagram and its explanation types of neuron then the transmission of impulses types of neurons according to myelin sheath also very important uh, then uh, from locomotion chapter types of joints also very important types of synovial joints also very important then remember the disorders of skeletal system difference between tendon and uh, ligaments and also please remember about uh, the diagram of human brain also very important so these are some of the important question answers uh, from first pc biology i hope it is going to be very, very helpful for you thank you